Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, no flying recently. We are going to get back to flying uh, as soon as all of uh, this crazy scenario is done with. Um, but to beat the uh, to beat the boredom during uh, lockdown, I decided on uh, a little indoor sort of garden trail vehicle, like a little crawler. Uh, I don't think it's quite in the crawler category. But it looks fun, looks like we can set up a few tracks indoors and have a mess about with it. So, <clears throat> not something I'd normally go for. However, um, obviously with the current scenario, this seemed to be about the best idea. So we're just going to quickly unbox this, guys. It was all manner of these. Well, I ended up choosing this one. Right, so first thing to come out of the box, we've got our instruction manual, a set of hard springs, a USB charger, and a little wheel wrench. What else we got there? A little screwdriver. We'll open all this out in a minute. Right, what else have we got in the bottom of the box? Okay, it looks like a bumper. Transmitter. Transmitter feels like it's taped in the box there. So this is 1 18th scale, um, this is a 2.0, I don't know what the difference is with the 2.0, I've looked at some reviews of these and I noticed the early ones had black wheels, um, sort of, I'm sure there is probably differences in them, it's got a 3 speed gearbox in it apparently, so it's all cable tied in there as always, so let's try and see if these scissors are man enough to open it. We get the transmitter out first. Come on. Right, so we've got our little transmitter. Um, don't think any batteries came with it for this. How does it open? I don't even know how it opens. Well, we'll investigate that in a minute. So we got or different buttons here for different things. I don't, know. I don't know what they all do yet. I'll have to have a look through the instructions. Looks like we've got trim for steering, trim for throttle and dual rates. Reverse. We've got a channel 3 on there. Right. So let's get down to the actual Patriot itself. I'll say, I have thought about getting something like this in the past, but never actually sort of got round to it. I always thought about getting sort of a, a 110 scale crawler. I didn't see any point in going this small, but obviously with the current climate, it seems like small is going to be sort of the best. Got a lot of a lot of travel on the shocks. There we go. Tiny little pins. Might have to get a couple more of them so we don't go losing them. I did notice here as well the spotlights. I've got little housings for LEDs and I have got LEDs so we might be able to have a mess about and wire something up there. And look at this guys, we've got the wire loom inside, we've got headlights, and we've also got tail lights. That's all plugged into what looks to be the receiver. So we've got our little three-speed gearbox here. This looks to be on-off switch. This will be receiver, speed controller, and that I expect. 
there's a tiny little what's that 600 milliamp 7.4 there that's good because I've got a couple of uh, I've got a couple of little two cells like that as well um, different fittings though on the battery never mind well guys this all looks cool So we've got some side steps on there as well. I know when I was doing actual off-roading years ago, I had to remove the side steps from one of my Jeeps. Uh, not by choice. I, uh, a high bank ended up removing them for me. So anyway, guys, this actually looks pretty cool. It actually seems a lot cooler than what I thought it would be. I'm sure we can get some other little goodies and that to go on this. We might have to do a little bit of uh, weathering on this. You guys know what I'm like for that sort of thing. So anyway, we're just running on six minutes, guys. I am going to leave it at that. And uh, we'll set up a track and we'll put out another video and see what we can do with it. Thanks for watching, guys. And everybody, stay safe wherever you are, whatever you're doing.